How about that? Is there sound now? Ooh, it looks like there is. So give me a thumbs up, Donna, if you can, if you can hear me now. I should say, hear meow. That's what they like to do. All right, I can see that I've got um, a few more people on, so let's get started. I just wanted to show off my um, my new coffee mug. So, okay, I've got sound because I can see I can see what's happening there. So good, good, good. All right. So as you guys may know, um, we had a huge snowstorm here in north central Minnesota and my husband and I had the pleasure of being out of power for 40 plus hours and it was really interesting. My best um, way to describe it is I felt like a character actor on an episode of Little House on the Prairie and Pa was not home because I was hauling wood, stoking the fire, um, melting snow, boiling snow so that you can flush the toilets, wash some dishes. Um, thank goodness. I mean, it really wasn't that bad because we keep a good supply of bottled water. We have wood stoves. We have wood to burn. We have had a generator, which we could plug into our freezer. So that all went well, but it was a lot of work and not to mention a lot of snow to move. So yeah, I, I'm glad that's over. All right, here's what's going on. Last chance products. The catalog, I'm gonna grab it so you can see it. This one right here is going to be retiring. The last day to purchase from this is January 4th, while supplies last, and then the last chance products. Some things are marked off to off 60%, up to 60%. So check in. Hi, Kathy. Welcome. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Well. I know those guys at Malax Electric, guys and gals, have been working their tails off, but it is not good. It is not good to be out. It is not. So hopefully you have a way to stay warm. Hopefully you have a lot of bottled water. If you don't, message me and I can help you out. All right. So going back to this, check it out. Last chance. And yeah, good stuff there. All right, the spring retreat. So my downline, Sandy Mainz and I um, host stamping retreats. Our spring retreat, the date has been changed to January 28th. Um, Stampin' Up! had announced that Shannon West would be coming to Alexandria, Minnesota on the 21st. So we re, um, rescheduled. So we're the last Saturday in January at Dennis Drummond Wine Company. There will be, like it says, stamping friends, food, fun, and there's even a little bit of wine if you're interested. So spring retreat. Um, what else do I have here? Oh, this is exciting. I am offering a paper share. You can get all the details out at createwithbrenda.com. And um, is what this is, is you will receive one piece of all of the papers in the new um, catalog, six by six. So they're usable samples. It's a total of 89 six by six sheets of paper. At, it's actually designer or specialty papers. And then um, as a gift from me, uh, you will receive a, um, you'll receive a bonus pack of the papers from Celebration. So check that out. In fact, I will link 
um, out on my YouTube channel. You can either go to createwithbrenda.com or go out to my YouTube channel. And I will have a link there too for to register for the paper share. All right. The new catalog's coming. The mini catalog, January to April 2023, starts on January 5th. And is this one is only going to go through um, May 1st. So it does say April, but May 1st is the cutoff for that. And celebration also starts January 5th through February 28th. So two months on celebration, three months on the catalog, okay? January, February, uh, four months on the catalog, sorry. All right, so if you don't have a catalog, I have a link out there that you can request a catalog from me at createwithbrenda.com, so go there. I'd be happy if you do not have a current demonstrator to send you a catalog. Okay, that's it, let's start. So I'm gonna show you my color palette that I've chose today first. I'm gonna be using Pale Papaya, Fresh Freesia, and the um, Soft Seafoam, okay? And then of course, the Memento. All right, the tools, the current tools that I'm going to be using are the Rectangle Stitched Framelits and the Stylish Shapes, okay? And the only thing I'm using from Stylish Shapes today you guys, I bought two sets of stylish shapes. I love them that much. And I use them often enough that I can cut two things out at a time and it makes me very happy. All right. Let's see. And look at, look at, look at, look at. This is the new stuff that I'm going to be sharing with you from the Celebration Catalog. The Beautifully, Beautifully Happy stamp set it's a photopolymer set it is a celebration item and if we go i have to look because i'm just not fluid fluid quite yet with all the stuff in here so i'm not supposed to open the catalog on so i have to look back here all right so with a 100 dollar product purchase, you can pick this 17 stamp photopolymer stamp set, okay? The paper is this huge pack. It's called the Dandy Designs, and that you can get with a $100 product purchase. And it's huge. It's 48 sheets for each of 12 double-sided designs. So look at this. 48 sheets. Wow. That's a lot of paper. So if you stay tuned, I'm going to be doing a one-sheet wonder this week that will show you how to use some of that paper. And you can make... I think it's 14 cards with two sheets of 12 by 12 paper. So that'll be coming up sometime this week on my YouTube channel. So check there. All right, let's start. Oh, one more thing, one more new product. Look at this. It's called the Cane Weave 3D Embossing Folder. It is so pretty. Remember the Cane Weave chairs or maybe you still have some? I don't know. Um, I haven't seen any for a while, but how pretty is this embossing folder? All right, so the pieces. I've got just a medium envelope with a two and three quarter by six inch piece of the designer series paper that I'm going to use for the flap on my envelope. I have a Standard card base of the pale papaya that measures five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. So let's just crease our card base. Okay, there's that. I have a piece of fresh freesia and this measures four by five and a quarter. 
I'll put all the measurements um, over on my YouTube channel below where it says more on the video. You'll see it there. So four by five and a quarter, fresh freesia. This one we are going to emboss with that beautiful keen weave embossing folder. I have already die cut a piece of the designer series paper and then with the next smallest rectangle, um, the basic white cardstock. So out of the set of rectangles, I have used the one, two, three, four, the fifth and sixth um, rectangles, okay? All right, so those are die cut. Take those out of there. I love these stitched rectangles too. They're, they're kind of a go-to. All right, I'm gonna put this in. Remember, I'm just gonna go over the rules quickly here with em embossing folders. You never want to put your paper all the way up to the hinge. This, where it folds in half, is called the hinge. Is what I like to do is I'll turn it upside down there's a black line that goes across down here by Stampin' Up. And you guys, I can see that it's interrupting a little bit, but um, remember that I upload to YouTube and then that those interruptions won't be there, okay? All right, I'm gonna put the Stampin' Cut and Emboss. And this, what I have is platform one, my embossing folder with my cardstock and then platform number four. All right, now I'm gonna move my coffee because otherwise I'll have a big puddle and I will need more than a silicone mat. All right, wheeling through. Whoops, that was a big noise. I can see I've lost some viewers, so hopefully it's not too painful and you guys can get the gist of it here. Oh, good to know, Beth. Good to know. Good morning, Janine. Okay, so I've now embossed. And you guys, just look how pretty. It, it really is just gorgeous. This is the second card I've used this on already. So that's that um, the Cane Weave 3D embossing folder coming up on January 5th. All right, so now because this is textured, I want to use liquid glue to adhere that to my card base. I know I debated about going live today, but I am pretty faithful about my Saturday morning lives. And I thought, well, we can give it a try. And if it works, that's great. And if it doesn't, well, at least we tried, right? Right, right, right. Okay, so I've glued that now from my pale papaya with the fresh freesia embossing folder. Then I'm gonna take my rectangle, isn't this side pretty too? And I will play a little bit once we've got this card assembled. I'm going to just add some adhesive and I'm gonna put that on this card at a tilt. Remember, this is the stitched or the rectangular stitched framelits. So there's just that little bit of stitching around the edge. All right. And while we're gluing or using adhesives, let's add adhesive to the flap on our envelope. Because you know the rule here, no naked envelopes that create with Brenda, right? So I'm just gonna lay that down right on the crease for the flap and then taking my, my snips. And these snips are in the tool section in the annual catalog. They are worth their weight in gold. Um, they stay sharp and they are just a girl's best friend. In fact, I keep a pair for paper and then I also have another pair for ribbon. Okay, so there's that. All right. So there's our cute envelope that's going to match 
our card. All right, now, I didn't show you our card. Here it is. This is our front and the inside. So is what I wanna do, I wanna show you how easy this stamp set is to work with. I've got the, the, um, the big flower, the outline, this one, mounted on my, what block is this? It's an E block. I'm going to ink it up with Memento. And because I'm not using alcohol markers, I could use like the basic gray, I could use um, brown, I could do whatever outline I want to with this flower, but I've chose to use the Memento. And I'm just going to stamp right down on my cardstock, giving it just a moment for the ink to transfer. And even that in itself is pretty, I think. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I feel like it's hard to see the image. There we go. Cool. All right, so again, my color palette was the Pale Papaya. I'll open that up. It was Fresh Freesia. We'll get that ready and then the soft sea foam, okay? And I've got my blocks all, or my stamps all mounted on blocks. So is what I wanna start with first is the flowers. And these are really pretty. They're the two-step stamping. So um, you get the shaded colors. So is what I'm going to do is ink up with the Fresh Freesia. I can see through the stamp, and once I get it lined up, I'm just going to stamp down. So, see how that just fits in there so beautifully? Do I get a ooh, an ah, a yay? Good morning, Robin, welcome. All right, so, Let's next do our leaves. And again, the soft sea foam. I'm going to ink these up. I can see through my stamp, so I'm just going to stamp down. Lift up. And I'll hold it up so you can see really how beautifully these stamp. Now, we're looking up here, right? Those still need to be colored. Here's this one. And I am going to ink it up with the soft sea foam. And again, I can see through my stamp. So I'm just going to line up and stamp. How pretty is that? Thanks, Janine. All right, so there's a little round stamp in here. I'm going to ink that up with the um, pale papaya and I'm going to give that just a center in my flower so there it is I love this stamp set I didn't think I would I'm I always say oh no more flowers I've got plenty of flowers but then I see these and it's like oh my gosh they're so pretty and then in the set too there's a bumblebee so I am going to bring my memento black ink back in I'm gonna ink up this bumblebee and I wanna drop it like it's coming in for a landing on that flower. And then the other thing before we stop here is there's this little splatter stamp and I have always been a fan of splatter. So I'm gonna ink up my splatter with pale papaya and I'm just going to drop it in and around my flower. Splatter adds so much depth. All right, 
So now we've got that piece done. Well, almost done. And it's what I want to do is just take my stamp and seal and I'm going to put this straight up and down. So I just want a little peek of that designer series paper. Okay. Now, the banner I told you about from these stylish shapes. So as what I've done is I've cut out quite a few. I cut one in um, the Fresh Freesia. I cut one with basic white and I cut one with pale papaya. And the sentiment that I chose to use was the, on the front, and I thought, I think it's super cute, is it just says, um, let me get the right one. It says, sending happy thoughts. So I'm going to put that right here. It fits perfectly on this banner. And I think part of why I like this so much is I'm always a fan of the where it's printed and script um, together. Um, let's see where, where I'm at with comments. All right. So now I'm going to do one more here on the Fresh Freesia. And you probably saw me pause and clean my stamp. The reason I did that is it's such a fine script that if you don't clean your stamp, I feel like it gets blotchy sometimes and I didn't want, I didn't want blotchy. Okay, so now we have to figure out, I'm not gonna put those away because I'm not done with them yet. We have to figure out for the front of our card. So on this one, I chose the pale papaya so that it had the border here with the pale papaya. On this one, you guys be sure to like, comment, and share because I'm gonna be sending one of you a card. I'll do a drawing and we'll, we'll see. All right. So let's bring our card in and set these on. So here's the pale papaya. I really do like that. I think it just brings all the color together. The white is just too much white. And the fresh freesia, I feel like it just blends a little too much with the background. What do you guys think? I really do. I really do like the pale papaya. So I'm going to take my stamping dimensionals and just add those to my banner. I'm going to put that right across here. I don't like this stem a whole lot, so I just am going to put my banner so that it covers up the stem. We'll use these at the end. We'll try something different, okay? And then I didn't feel like there was enough, you know me and my sparkle, right? I love my sparkles. So is what I did is I took my Wink of Stella and I just lightly colored the, the flowers to give it just a touch of sparkle. Okay, so I can't tell. It looks, oh, it's okay. At first I thought my, at first I thought my sound had gone a little wonky, but it's all good. All right, let's see what. Joyce says papaya, Donna says papaya. Yay, I picked the right one. All right, so there's the outside of our card. Now let's work on the inside. So I have a piece, as I told you, the three and three quarter by five. And is what I want the inside of my card to say 
is there's this cute little sentiment in there. You remember the front said sending happy thoughts? And then there's another little sentiment in there that says for a very happy birthday. So I'm just gonna stamp that right here in my card. Cute. And then there's this adorable little flower. Ink that up, add that right here. And of course, you know how Stampin' Up! is. They do all the fun stuff, right? Fresh freesia. And that's going to line up with our... Let's see. I just have to get it lined up. It's going to line up with our flower. And you can see I missed a little bit, but that's okay. It's okay. It's, you know... It could be watercolor and who knows? That one didn't stamp as dark as I wanted, so I'll just restamp with the pale papaya for the center. And then nothing left undone. They have even the matching stem and bulb. So there's the inside of our card. I'm just going to add a little adhesive and I like to do just the top edge there and we'll add that to our card with our envelope. Sending happy thoughts for a very happy birthday. Cute, right? I love it. Now, before I go away, I want to show you, I had a couple of thoughts. So here's our original card. And then what would you think if we did like a, like a tone on tone rather than the contrasting? What would that look like? So I took a, I thought I had another, stitched rectangle but that's okay so let's do this instead I have a piece of we can use pale papaya or we can use the, the um, fresh freesia I'm just gonna grab a card base quickly and I wanted to show you a little bit of a layout. So here's the fresh freesia, like that, with the same color. Or here's the pale papaya. I'm gonna do this one a little bit differently. I'm gonna make this like a tent card. And we'll see. Not that that will matter because you can't really tell. But let's bring this in. So what if we went pale papaya on top of pale papaya? And then look at this. So there's this. Oh, I did have one. A background. So I don't like this because I feel like that's too much like the cane weave. So I'm going to flip it over. And what if we put that on like so? And then this. And I guess I'm not sure about this because i that's when I was creating this card. I was trying to figure out which one I thought worked best. I thought I had some stamped, stamped sentiments here. Let's see if I do or not. Yeah, here they are. So... What about that with the tone on tone embossing folder? You do like the tone on tone, okay. Thanks, Joyce. Yeah, I, I don't know. I was having a hard time with, do I like it or don't I like it? And then there was this one with the Let's switch this over because I only cut out one extra, but so this way, 
this way and then um, I guess I taped on all of my pale papaya but like so I don't know it's a good thing to play with it's a great day to to play with stamps dig in your stash see what you have that might work for this layout and remember with a hundred dollar product purchase on january 5th you can pick this beautifully happy stamp set too the other sentiments in there are really fun they're the um you can do sending happy thoughts for a feel better kind of day which i think is fun um i did the for a very happy birthday kindness matters thank you and you are easy to love so all right thanks everybody for joining me be sure to comment like and share and then i will be sending one of these cards out to one lucky winner today so um once i get everything uploaded on youtube i will close close the entries and make the drawing okay and I will do the announcement on my Facebook page at Create with Brenda. So have a great, safe rest of the weekend. I hope everybody is warm and fed. What do you say, Joyce? The papaya makes me think of daisies and sunflowers, right? Right. Um, the tone on tone is great. Robin, you like the contrasting. Yeah, I know. That's why when I was creating this card, it's like, oh, I just, I have to show them have to show them both options because I don't know it's a whole different look each time all right you guys I hope you'll join me I will not be live the next two Saturdays because we've got Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve so I'm going to observe the holidays with my family and friends and I will be back with coffee and create with Brenda on January 7th so until then and remember January 7th oh the new catalog and celebration is live. So talk to you soon. Bye for now.